Hello, hello. It is our Wednesday, our Bible study time. I'm so excited to have you with us. Parents, thank you so much for allowing the children to be connected. My prayer is always what? That God blesses you real good. Hello, everybody out there in the technology world. I say thank you and God bless you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive in it. We know on Sunday we had a wonderful lesson and we want to make sure that we open ourselves up for God to continue to give us the greatness of understanding and knowledge of his word because that's power, okay? That is power. God's word itself is power. So we're going to go ahead and let's prepare ourselves. Let's get our self situated and we got our Bible yes we got our Bible we got our bodies ready position our brain ready to receive the Word of God there's no nothing that would distract us or call us to look this way or that way or get our hit our attention no because we want to give God our best okay say it with me I want to give God my best yes all right, and that's what he wants is our best. So let's give this next 10, 11, maybe 12 minutes, maybe less than that, God our best, okay? So let us go to God in prayer. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, thank you so much for this Wednesday. Thank you, Lord, for last night laying down and this morning early rising. Thank you, Father God, that we had strength in our bodies and we could see and hear and we was able to wake up and all is well, oh, Father God. Lord, no matter what is going on in our life, we will have hope in looking at that situation and knowing that greatness can come out of it. Lord, grant us the hope we need to believe those things that you have called us to believe so that we can have this abundant life and do what you're calling us to do just as you have done with Jesus. Lord, we love you and we ask that you just have your way. Move Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, I pray, and help me to speak your word to your people. Amen and amen. All righty. So Palm Sunday. So we said, uh, we said on Sunday, what is Palm Sunday? Okay. You want to tell somebody, maybe somebody's with you that's viewing, tell them what is Palm Sunday. Or if not, just say to yourself. Okay. Yes. All right. So Palm Sunday is the Sunday before Easter. It is the triumph entry Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem, okay? And so we talked about that on Sunday, okay? We talked about that Lazarus, uh, he raised from the dead with his, with his power, and so many people uh, believed in Jesus because of that miracle that he done upon uh, Lazarus. But keep in mind, everybody don't love Jesus. Okay, and when Jesus did these great things, we had the Pharisees. Okay, and these religious leaders did not like Jesus, and they had plotted to kill him. And so, uh, we stated that you know he knew that he had to go. That was God's plan for him to go back to Jerusalem. Okay, and they were plotting to kill him. And we're really going to focus on that point, but I'm going to go ahead and tell rest of the story for those that was not with us on Sunday, okay? So, um, Jesus knew that he was called to spread, share, and to grant the good news to all people, and he worked miracles and healing and so forth, and that was his thing to accomplish, and that was uh, what God sent him on earth to to do so in spite of the threats and all these things that may have come in play his focus was to do the father's will okay and so he went and the the the, the, the disciples that got him donkeys they ordered he ordered them gave them special instructions and they followed and they uh, got the donkey brought a donkey and a coat uh to jesus and jesus they laid their their clothing on the donkey some laid it on the pathway and jesus got on the donkey and started riding they were shouting hosanna and celebrating and just thanking jesus for being the lord and the savior that 
has come. And they said some people even climbed up on the palm trees and cut off palm trees, palm branches, and waved them and said, Hosanna, and some just laid them all in the path as he was coming. And they celebrated and celebrated, and he accomplished that. And it, the Bible tells us that the Pharisees looked for many other ways to arrest Jesus, okay? And see, when God calls you to do something, he not only equips you, but he protects you, okay? And so we got to make sure that we're always in God's will. And how do we stay in God's will? You stay in the word of God. You stay in that prayer. You stay in prayer and communication with God. You stay obedient to his word. And that altogether, the spirit of God is in you and that word, because the word is power, okay? The word of God is powerful. And that's why, you know, my pastor would say when there's a, uh, individual that has joined the church and they be presented in the in the front and it's called a right hand fellowship and we always give him a Bible and I remember he I, he don't do it much I don't think he I haven't heard him even before the pandemic but the old school and I don't know if people out there listening to him but the old school he would hand him the Bible he would hand it to him and he would say either this Bible either the Word of God your sins will keep you from this Bible, or the Bible will keep you from your sins. Amen? Because the Word of God is powerful. So I pray and hope Pastor starts back saying that again, but that's something as a young child I really, really held on to. So, uh, but one point that I want to let you guys know, and I really want to focus on it just for the next two or three minutes, is that when you are called to do something that God is called, telling you to do. And you know in your heart God is calling you to do it. You're scared. You're afraid. It don't make no sense. You need to prayerfully do what the Spirit of God has led you to do. Uh, uh, let's move into what God has called you to do. Okay? Uh, something simple is loving your enemy. If God tells you to love your enemy and this person you just really has a bad vibe about them, okay? You still need to love that person, okay? Maybe you didn't make peace with somebody. You know, you need to do it prayerfully. But when you develop that relationship and you have that prayer, it, it becomes somewhat easy. And it sometimes thanks each other, but it makes things much better as we go, okay? So that's why it's so important. I continue to encourage you, read your word, read the Bible each and every day. And when you develop that pattern, when you miss, you ain't going to feel good. You're going to say, hold on, I, I, I stop everything, stop the brakes real quick. I need the word of God, yes, because I've done that before. So we learn from this lesson that there's hope. And that's hope with moving forward and doing the things that we know that God has told us to do, okay? And we see here in, G, in the lesson that God covered and protect him, okay? God covered and protect Jesus. And they continue to what? Look for ways to arrest, arrest God, I mean to arrest Jesus. So God can be the bigger, God can see the bigger picture even when we can't, okay? So always remember that God sees the whole plan laid out. And we only see only so much of it. And that's where our trust, our hope in Christ uh, needs to be activated. Okay? So that is our lesson from Palm Sunday. Now listen, uh, our word, and I'm hoping that you got your scripture, and I'm hoping that you have read your challenging your challenge for this uh, week, John chapter 12. Okay? So we want to do our, here's our word for the week is hope. Okay? Hope. In, uh, believing in a bad situation that something good can come out of it. Hope. Our hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Alrighty, then our scripture for the month is coming from what? The book of John, chapter 16 and verse 33. Okay, let's read it together. In this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John, chapter 16, Verse 33. Let's try it again. You ready? In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. 
John chapter 16, verse 33. Blessed be the word of God. Amen. All righty. So we're going to go ahead and let us bow for a word of prayer. And I have a few little things to share with you, okay? Father God, thank you so much for this word. Thank you, Lord, for hope, hope deep within our hearts. Lord, thank you that we need to stay connected so close to you, Lord, because that's where our strength when times such as what Jesus was dealing with of being afraid of someone harming him, that's when it comes that we need that strength of you to pull on. So, Lord, we thank you for your word today. And, Lord, we just pray for the listeners and viewers out there, Father God, in a special way that their life will change. And I pray that their prayer life and their reading of the scripture and their obedience of your word will be better than it was yesterday. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All righty, so Sunday is Easter. And I do want to let you know that God loves when we dress up, get our hair done, get shoes and all that smelling good. He loves all that. But keep the main thing the main thing. We go to church to celebrate Jesus' life his death, and his resurrection, okay? Because guess what? That cross that we were, he's not on there. He rose, and he rose with all power. Mm. And he's going to come back and receive us, okay? But we thank God, till he comes, we have that power to do and accomplish everything that he has told us to do. Amen? All righty, stay safe, and I will see you guys on next Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.